Okay. I am uh, recording this because this is something I've not seen before. At the top of that hill up there, or on top of this hill, there's um, some historical landmarks. So uh, I'm going to take the opportunity to stop in and take a look at it, okay? So um, we'll see what this is all about, and uh, hopefully we'll get an education out of it too. So here it is. It says historical marker right there. So I pull in, and uh, it's this <laughs> this weird little place. I pull over here. Let's see what that says. Get a marker right there. And over there you've got a house and some other house. There's a little oh, that's just a picnic area. <laughs> now that it's interesting over there. I'm gonna circle around and uh, get a closer pick of, uh, or closer footage of uh, the house that's over there. What I'll eventually do is get out of the car and, um, you know, get get video of this stuff firsthand, or you know, up up close. You can see that place right there. Now, um, this is someone's childhood home, I believe. I can't remember who. I'll, I mean, I'll go up to the, you know, the monument or whatever and, and read what it actually says. But for now, yeah, this is their house. That house, I believe, used to actually be up on the hill over there uh, where the White House is currently, I believe. But then it got moved here because this is the actual spot. But, um, yeah. I think you can go up close and check it out, but I'll do that in a little bit. First, uh, I'll park the car and uh, just get a close-up close -up view of uh, what that says. Caddy Woodlawn. Okay. I'll be uh, getting out in just a second here. See what this says. So it looks like they're actually buried here. Uh, nearby stands the wood house home, which was moved in 1970 from the original site about 300 yards to the east. In January 1940, Caddy died in Idaho at the age of 86, erected in 1970. It actually wasn't that long ago. Official marker. Oh. Now, <clears throat> there's another side, or uh, another marker over here. Let's see what that is. You can see the stone. <clears throat> this stone, named Dunville Sandstone, was cored in a location first discovered in 1882 by surveyors for the railroad. Stone such as this was used for constructing our shelter house. 
the Mayville Tainter Memorial Building in Menominee, the St. Thomas Church in New York City, and in many other buildings. Uh, let's see, Ulmer, Salahan, Lang, and H. Walters are former active stone quarries located across and up the river from this point. Is that it? <laughs> Alright. Okay, I'm going to get back in the van and then I'm going to park right in front of the house and then get a up-close shot of it. I wonder who lives over there.